Hi everyone, Sean with jazbeescasebreaks.com here doing 2021 TriStar uh, autographed football mini helmets, 20 box dual case random team number one where we we'll also have a $400 hit list credit giveaway. So, autographed football mini helmets, 20 box dual case break. 32 spots, everyone gets a random team in the NFL. Collegiate helmets go to the team they play for now if active, longest team played for if retired. At the end of the break, we'll take all hit list customer names, randomize them, top eight, win $50 in break credit each. So, first, let's do the randomizer for the teams. Tyler Brenner down two, last spot Mojo and Ray Hughes times three, and the teams from the Cardinals down to the Washington football team. Dice roll to randomize both lists and pair them up a five and a three eight times. Eighth and final time. From Peter Lombardo, down to Nick Talwak. Eight times on the randomizer, eight times on the dice. Uh, per spot, Ray. Yeah, it's per the team. So if your team doesn't hit, even if you have six teams, and five of them don't hit, five of them would be entered into the hit list. And now, eight times on the teams eighth and final time from the Rams down to the Washington football team eight times on the randomizer eight times on that randomizer and eight times on the dice Peter Lombardo with the Rams, Peter Eng with the Broncos, Lee Wolfgrim with the Bengals, PJ McNeely with the Cowboys, Chris Parent with the Buccaneers, Nick Talwak with the Raiders, William Fulmer with the Steelers, Martin Klaus with the Lions, Adam Kupperman with the 49ers, Mike Tower with the Browns, Ray Hughes with the Bills, Anthony Oliva with the Seahawks, Hank Radecki with the Chargers, Ryan Heinz with the Jets, Alan Murdoch with the Falcons, Hank Radecki with the Jaguars, Tyler Brenner with the Bears. Adam Kupperman with the Vikings, Gabe Especia with the Ravens, Michael Gallucci with the Eagles, Hank Radecki with the Patriots, Karen Steele with the Colts, Gary Tashima with the Saints, uh, Raymond De Jesus with the Titans, Victor Zamora with the Chiefs, Ray Hughes last spot mojo with the Cardinals, TJ Leonard with the Packers, Ray Hughes last spot mojo again with the Dolphins, Garrett Fontenot with the Giants, John Gotti with the Panthers, AJ Anderson with the Texans, and Nick Talwak with the Washington football team. So that is the randomizer. Trade window is open. Let's get this all on screen for you guys. So there's the full list. Uh, AJ has the Texans up for trade. I'm going to pause the video for about a minute, give everybody a chance to trade. Obviously, no checklist with stuff like this, so be careful when trading. Uh, but I'm going to pause the video, and we'll get going. we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back. Uh, there was one trade, lots of teams up for trade, or people looking to trade, but one trade was finalized. So John Gotti is trading out of the Panthers and into the Titans, correct? Titans for Panthers confirmed. <coughs> and Raymond is trading out of the Titans and into the Panthers. And there you go. So a little trade window or trade mojo for both of you. So let's print rip. Okay, so you can see these are the two monster cases that we're going to be doing, guys. I'm going to pop these open, and we're going to take the helmets and stack them right over here. So each one of these boxes is plastic wrap sealed. Each 
Each case should have 10 in there. We'll confirm. There's the first 10. Here's the second 10. I'll leave this one right here to start with. So there is all 20. There you go. You got it, Will. Good luck, guys. Okay. Uh, here is the final list. Like we said, I'll... Uh, College jerseys or non-professional or college helmets or non-professional helmets will go to team they are currently on or uh, team, if they're no longer active, team they played for the longest, if it's a retired player. I'd say we play Who Am I, but that would be a very long, uh, long game in this case. First up is our first college helmet. And it's 1978 Heisman. Billy Sims. Football, University Hall of Fame, 1978 Heisman Trophy winner, two-time consensus All-American, 1980 NFL Draft, number one overall pick. Uh, Three-time Pro Bowler, so let's see who Billy Sims played for the longest. Billy Sims played for the Detroit Lions his entire career, four years. So that is for the Detroit Lions and Martin Klaus. Here you go, Martin. Of course, Walter. That's what I'm trying to do. You know that that's my favorite. Don't tempt me with a good time. Okay, let's go on to number two. Oh, let's put this with the... It's a Minnesota Viking, so it's going to Adam Kupperman. It is Ron Yari, Hall of Fame in 2001 induction. Uh, induction. Number one overall pick, 1968, six-time first-team All-Pro, seven-time Pro Bowler, 
eight-time All-NFC selection, three-time NFC champion, 1970s All-Decade team, 1967 Outland Trophy. Ron Yari for the Minnesota Vikings and Adam Kupperman. to be a cowboy can't make out that signature is it a hall of fame can't tell it's Gil Brandt pro football hall of fame in 2019 two-time Super Bowl champion five-time NFC champion Dallas Cowboys ring of honor 13-time division champion and 20 straight winning seasons Gil Brandt for the Cowboys TJ McNeely Nice, Walter. Yeah, that should be down to like three teams left now. Very cool. Hall of Fame, Paul Krause, 1998 Hall of Fame induction, eight-time Pro Bowl selection, four-time NFC champion, Redskins, Vikings, bunch of, uh, so two different teams. Let's take a look and see which one he played for the longest since it is a Hall of Fame helmet. We're going to see which team it's going to go to. Paul Krause, Redskins. From 64 to 67, and Vikings from 68 to 79. So Vikings take it by a long shot. Minnesota Vikings, Adam Kupperman. Jim Brown, Walter Sam. I'm cool with that. Oh, that's cool. Jim Harbaugh, Michigan. Who Jim Harbaugh play for professionally the longest? As a player, Bears, Colts, Ravens, Chargers, Lions, and Panthers. Bears for six years, Colts for three, Ravens for one, Chargers for one, Lions for one, Panthers for one. So it goes to the Bears. Chicago Bears, Tyler Brenner. That's super cool. Love the Michigan helmet. There you go, Tyler.
number six. Hank was correct. He guessed, he said reds. Or, oh, sorry, bears. This is another high school, uh, sorry, college helmet. And it's the exact opposite of Michigan. We're going Ohio State. That's got to be Troy Smith, Hall of Fame 2006. Or Heisman 2006. That's pretty cool with the Buckeye stickers on the side. Troy Smith, Ravens, was a draft. Did he play with them his entire career or most of his career? Uh, Ravens from 20, uh, 2007 to 2009. 49ers from 2010. Omaha. Steelers for 2012. Yeah. So Ravens, he played there for two to three years. Longest out of all of them. Played at the Steelers for one year and the 49ers for one year as well. Montreal Alouettes for two years. So that will go to the Ravens and Gabe Aspicia. Number seven. We've got a Rams helmet. So that's going to go to Peter Lombardo and the Rams. And it is... Joel Van McLeod or something. Jack Youngblood. Nope. That is very cool. Jack Youngblood for the Rams and Peter Lombardo. Hall of Fame 2001. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. The M that I thought was actually a Y. So the rest of it makes sense. There you go. Jack Youngblood for the Rams. A little off, just a little bit, Rebel. Box number eight, just a bit outside. Joel Fan Cloud, <laughs> you know, AJ. Good old Joel Mc McLeod, Van Cloud, McDonald. That's a deep cut in the NFL history. We got an eagle. Brian Dawkins. That's who I was guessing, but I actually saw the card. Philadelphia Eagles, Michael Gallucci. Bugger. Oh, that's right. Jack Youngblood put a booger on your card. I remember that, Eric. I do remember that. That was like full on a booger. After you got the card, like you looked at it and you're like, "That's there's no way that's anything other than a booger, right?" Box number nine. We 
we can't say it was Jack Youngblood, but it probably was. Uh, Juan, I'm going to be here until there's nothing left for me to do or you guys don't want to do anything else. Paul Robinson? Hall of Fame 2013. Packers. It's going to TJ Leonard, Dave Robinson. Green Bay Packers. TJ Leonard. It's definitely a booger. Straight booger. And box number 10, so halfway through. But wait, there's more. We got 10 more boxes. So if you have, your team hasn't hit yet, don't worry. So I got a whole another half to go. We got blue, or no, it's purple. It's the Ravens. Is that Jamal Lewis? Baltimore Ravens gave Aspecia. Yeah, Jamal Lewis. There you go, Gabe. Very good player. Super Bowl champion. Gabe likes it. I like it. Okay, now on to the second tower of boxes. Is it college? No, nope. Denver Broncos. Who we got? Craig Morton? I'm going to say something Morton. Craig Morton. There you go. Super Bowl champion. Denver Broncos, Peter Hang. Rams again, and it's another Jack Youngblood. You can tell just from the signature. Rams, Peter Lombardo, again. If one Youngblood is good, two is better. Now you can keep one and give one to your best friend.
And we've got a Seahawk, Anthony Oliva. Hall of Fame in 2014, Walter Jones. That's a big man. Seattle Seahawks, Anthony Oliva. Not if it's a, not if the hat, if the helmet rebel, if the helmet is the team, then it goes to that team. If it's a, if it's a non pro, like a college helmet or that hall of fame helmet, then we go by the team they played for the longest. But it's just like if the card, if you know, it's a Ladanian Tomlinson card and it's, it, we pulled it out of a break and it's got the jets on it. Cause it's him as a jet. Then it obviously would go to the jets even though he played for the Chargers almost his entire career. Works the same way. Which one was Morton? Paul Morton or what what Morton? Craig? It was Craig Morton, right? Yeah. I said Broncos. That's what I said. What are you talking about? Yeah. The one that's on a Broncos helmet that I put Denver. It's going to the Broncos. What's happening? Okay. Yeah, I was like, if it doesn't have the team on there, I'm looking it up every time. No worries. No, no, yeah. He played for the Cowboys longer than the Broncos, but it's a Broncos helmet because he was a cha he was a Super Bowl champion with the Broncos. This one is a college one, and it's Troy Smith. Uh, we just looked this one up, didn't we? I think this was Baltimore, I want to say. Yeah. So Baltimore Ravens. Troy Smith. Uh, that goes to Gabe again. No, you're good, Rebel. It's all good. Hey, I'm, I'm okay with double checking it. I want to make sure I'm doing it right. You know what I mean? But that one, I, I kind of was, I clearly knew how it did it, it, did it right. <laughs> Two dupes, yep. Okay, we got six left. Six left. That is true. And we got another Dallas Cowboy. It's Bob Lilly. PJ McNeely.
Bob Lilly, great Hall of Famer. Also a very big man. Five more helmets, guys. Guesses for the Buffalo Bills, Ray Hughes, one of his last spot mojo spots, Cornelius Bennett out of Alabama, Buffalo, Ray. Got four left, guys. Four left. And it's another bill. Not Cortinius Bennett this time. Buffalo Bills, Ray Hughes again. And it's Andre Reed. Nice. Back to back for Buffalo. Twenty fourteen Hall of Fame. Last three. Yeah, the white uh, Bills helmets are really nice. White helmets always look good with the autograph on them. And... Is it Kyle Van Noy? Miami Dolphins, Ray Hughes, yeah, Kyle Van Noy. Dolphins, Ray Hughes. Did he get released this year? Free agent signing somewhere else? Some. Or hasn't signed somewhere else yet. Three in a row for Ray. Coming on hot at the end. We got two left. It's the Oilers. Warren Moon. Very cool. So, Oilers obviously goes to Tennessee. John Gotti trained Mojo. Very 
Very nice. Nice Warren Moon. And our final helmet. Absolutely, thank you. Thanks for getting in on the break. And the final hit is going to the boys. Dallas Cowboys. We already saw this one. Who was it? Gil Brandt. And the Dallas Cowboys. So that's the break. We've got the uh, hitless break credit promo coming up. I need to go through these 20 helmets and see which teams hit. So I'm going to pause the video, come back, and then we'll have the break credit promo all set up. There you go, guys. Thank you very much. And we'll be right back and give away those brink credit. Okay, we're back. So, all the teams in orange hit in the break. So, what we're going to do is we're going to copy the customer list over to a separate spreadsheet. And we're going to take out all the teams in orange. Delete. There you go. So now we've got 19 people in on the randomizer. So from Ray down to Nick. And it was top eight, $50 in break credit each. So top eight after six and a six, 12 times. Good luck. Twelfth and final time. Hank, Alan, Lee, Ryan, Gary, Ray, Garrett, and Karen. Top eight. Fifty dollars of break credit each. I don't see any duplicate names in there, right? No, so each one of you will be getting a $50 break credit email coming up shortly. 12 times on the randomizer, 12 times on the dice. Top eight, top eight, $50 in break credit. And there you go, guys. That does it. That was 2021 TriStar Autograph Football Mini Helmet 20 Box Dual Case Break Random Team Number One from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you next time.